A popular golf course on the windward side of Oahu shut down. No notice or no word when or if it will reopen. Olamana Golf Course shut Friday indefinitely. As Elisa Arevalo found out, the course is behind on rent and payments to vendors. She spoke with golfers about the shutdown and the story that's new at 10. The greens at Olamana Golf were filled with golfers on Friday, but as of Saturday, there are no lights on, no golf carts, and no staff. Sources within Olamana tell us the course is closed indefinitely, and it's not clear if it will reopen. This is a really local golf course that, we, you know, it serves the community, and we have all our kids here, and it's just a sad thing that this is going to happen. Casey Nakama has run the junior golf program at Olamana for 20 years. And then on the fourth hole, um, I hit it by the bunker. He first noticed signs of trouble earlier this year. The company that owns the golf carts came, you know, with a trailer and they, and they just pulled the carts. For a number of months, they weren't paid, so I basically gave them some options and they were not able to come up with the funding. Jay Hinazumi is the distributor for Easy Golf Carts on Oahu. He says he was left no choice but to repossess dozens of carts from Olamana and says, sadly, this is a first in his 30 years with the golfing community. The last thing we want is being involved in the sport and the industry. It's for a golf course to be closed. The State Department of Land and Natural Resources leases the land to the golf course. I reached out to DLNR and learned the golf course owners defaulted on rent. A payment was made last month for $35,000, but we're told $110,000 is still owed to the state. A spokesperson says DLNR was not notified about the closure. The news came as a surprise to many parents and kids, too. We're hopeful that something ain't worked out. Uh, the right parties will step in and, and make sure that the bigger picture is uh, taken into an account. Melissa joins us now. Those kids, Casey's Army, is such a huge part of the golf community out there. What is going to happen to them? Is their program going to be affected? Well, good news, Howard. It's not. Nakama says the kids are resilient and they just want to play golf. So he will be reaching out to other area golf clubs to see if they've got room for them. And he says good news is they very likely will. They'll just be more spread out across the island.